So we've just arrived in our hotel in Vietnam, Hanoi. It is nice, clean, but most importantly, cheap, which we like. Yeah. So what are we going to do? We're going to go look for some food. Mmm, food. Apparently there's bar good barbecue food here, um, so maybe we'll see some barbecue food, otherwise we'll have some Vietnamese cultured food, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then we can explore a bit, because we've only got two days in Hanoi. Two days in Hanoi. So. Yeah. so we've been given a map and told where to go. So we're going to go out onto the streets and have a look. What's that, Jack? It's like a donut. I was basically forced into this, so she said try one, and before I knew it, I had a bag. But it's like 40p for a bag. It tastes like sweet donut. This is absolutely mad. So we struggled to cross the road because there's just bikes everywhere. One thing that Hanoi is well known for is its art. People are so creative. It's amazing. We've come to one of the street food restaurants and it's a bit overwhelming because literally everybody is like food, food, you want food, you want food? So it's a bit overwhelming. So I think we're going to go for barbecue. Barbecue, chicken and beef. And hope for the best. Another thing is everybody just comes to your table and just tries to hustle you. Like hats, gloves, lighters, anything. It's an it's a bit of an experience eh? So we ordered barbecue, so it comes with a little barbecue. Yeah, that's you. And then we got pork, no, beef. Beef and chicken. And chicken. And we're just gonna barbecue it ourselves. How exciting. Oh, poor. We're still going. So we're still going. It is so good. Yum, guys. <laughs> so we hitched a ride on one of these tuk tuk bicycles. It's a push bike. Things. Um, yeah, it's quite sturdy. We're hoping we're going to make it there. Yeah, we'll make it there. We haven't hit any busy roads yet. Oh, so I've got a hat. There you stay go. Stay tuned. Next level now. <laughs> you got a hat. I've come to Dong Zuan. Dong Zuan. We'll put the name down below. Market. Um, there's not a lot of space here, I must say. This is like heaven to us. They've got literally everything on the street. Afternoon tea stands, um, little glass tea carts, all sorts. It's so nice. Do you 
need a haircut, no problem. Just casually come and have it done on the side of the street. I'm sure it's going to taste nice. good. And it doesn't taste like eggs. Do you like creme anglaise? I do like creme anglaise. There we go. So it's really famous here in Vietnam. Um, and they're known for it. Back in the day when they didn't have cream or milk to put on top of their coffee, they used egg yolk instead. Um, Yeah. First time. They write you a cute little note too. Oh, will it focus? There we go. Here goes nothing. Mm. It's actually really good. Is it? What does it taste like? Literally like creme anglaise, like a rich coffee and creme anglaise. Mm. Mm. So, is egg coffee for you, my love? Obviously it's not a taste for everybody. If you like eggs, it's nice. But I enjoyed it and I don't like egg and I don't like coffee. But I enjoyed it. Oh. <laughs> 